Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by WindowsLearningZone.com. I'm your instructor, Richard Rost. Today, we're going to talk about a feature that Windows File Explorer lost. It regressed. It went to an earlier state. What's going on here? What happened to my file details? I'm going to show you what happened, explain why it's important to me, at least, and a few other people I've been talking to by email, and what you can do about it. All right, so you probably know by now that I make videos for a living. And the way that I record is that I make short segments, a few minutes each usually, and then I stitch them all together when I'm done. So I'll record a little bit, stop, record a little bit, stop. That way if I goof, I can just delete the last segment and re-record it, right? I don't have to go and edit and do all that kind of stuff. So I like to keep all my recordings in a recordings folder, right? And then I can use Windows File Explorer to see what I've got. And just by quickly selecting all the files, I can see what the file length is, the size, how much video I've recorded, right? Just quickly select them. And then over here, you see the details for those six selected items. Well, my system recently went through a Windows update for Windows 11, and now this is what I get. You select your items, and it says, eh. You got to select a single file to get more. Where did my summary go? What happened? Microsoft, what'd you do? Now, sure, to get back to that, what you could do is you could select them, go to properties. When properties comes up, you got to click on details, and then there you can see right there. That's a lot of work, though. It was so much easier and it was just on the, the details pane, right? You can just see it right in front of you. I don't want to click like five times to see this information. Now, you can get back to the Windows 10 style of File Explorer by go, opening up the control panel. Then you click on this little guy here and you pick home and then you can browse to your folder. But again, that's a lot of work and you have to go in through the control panel. It's the only way to get it. There's no registry key. There's no setting. All right. It's weird. All right, you get the old style file manager back, but again, that's a lot of work just to get something that used to be right in your face. Microsoft has shown a pattern of removing features from its applications, from Office, from Windows, that people know, love, and become accustomed to in their daily lives. I get used to it, right? I, I, I use this every day. This forces users to rely on third, should be on third party utilities or write their own, which is what I did to perform tasks that used to be built into what existed before. If you remember this video I did about a year ago, Windows 11 removed the ability to see separate taskbar icons for different windows, right? So if you got multiple windows open with your web browser or documents or Word or whatever, you could see them separately before. Then Windows 11 forced them all to be grouped together and there was no way in Windows to turn that off. So fortunately, someone wrote an app to revert back to the original Windows, not grouped style. And uh, watch this video here if you want to check that out. But this was another feature that I can't live without. I need to see my separate windows. I like to have five or six different browser windows open or two or three different access databases, and I like to flip between them. Also, Microsoft removed most of the classic options from the File Explorer menu. You used to right click on something and see this, right? Well, you could still get to that, but first you get this little summary, like basic window, right? And then you have to click the show more options and then you get this window. I want it to go just right to this, right? Plus, plus these little buttons up here. What, what are these? Right, just give me my cut, copy, paste back like this. This is what I want. This should be something that expert users can toggle on and off. I want to see the expert stuff. I want to see the full menu. I don't want to see your little icons here. It's like my little joke I talk about in my computer basics class. Originally, computers used to just have text menus, right? File, edit, whatever. And then they added icons, right? Because it's more visually pleasing, I guess. But no one knew what the icons were. So then you had to hover over the icon to get the pop-up text to tell you what the button was for. <laughs> just give me both. I like both. I like this. Give me the full menu with both, the icon and the text. I don't like this. Microsoft keeps changing things. Stop changing things. Right. In the words of one of my favorite comedians, Sebastian Maniscalco, Microsoft, what are you doing? <laughs> now, I get it. Sometimes Microsoft makes a bold new move that ends up becoming revolutionary. For example, the ribbon when they added it back in Office 2007. At the time, I hated the ribbon. I couldn't stand it. Right. I'm like, where are all the features? I'm used to file edit view. 
right? I knew exactly where everything was and I was resistant to change, but I had to learn it because I have to teach it, right, in my classes. And then after I got to, to working with it and using it, I really I grew to love it because it adapts to what you're changing. And I, I came to see it. It was genius. It was it changed the game. And the now I love the ribbon. I couldn't. There's no way I could go back to the file edit view menus, right? But Microsoft, please stop removing useful tools from your applications that we come to rely on in our daily work. All right, things like the details pane, that data, and combining taskbar icons. All right, at least give us a setting, or at the very least, a registry key that we could change to get back to the feature we're used to. There's no benefit to this. I could see the ribbon. It was a great upgrade, right? It's got a lot of benefit. There's no benefit to getting rid of showing us this information over here. Why? You had this. It was already built in, and you downgraded it. Now, don't everyone think that I'm picking on Microsoft? I absolutely love Microsoft. I've been evangelizing their products for many, many years, right? I've been I've been using Microsoft products pretty much since birth. I've been teaching Office applications for almost 30 years now. So this is constructive criticism, and I'm hoping someone at Microsoft will see this video and maybe make some changes, right? Plus, this video is mostly for me to show you where the feature has moved to. So in case you want to find where that those details were, I showed you how to get to it. So I'm really, it's not just a complaint video. Seriously, really. Seriously. <laughs> now, in addition to making this video, I did submit some feedback to Windows using the Feedback Hub, and I encourage you to, if this is a feature you'd like to see, put back into Windows. So if you want to get to the Feedback Hub, just click on your Start button in Windows and type in Feedback, and you should see this application here called Feedback Hub. And then I suggest using the Suggest a Feature option. And here's what I sent to them. That's just long enough to fit in the window. So. I'll put a copy of something similar to this down below in the description. So if you want to copy and paste it, you can send Microsoft your feedback. So what did I do? Well, I tried a few alternative file explorer apps. I really didn't like any of them. So if you have a file explorer app or a full application program that you use and you like it and it, it shows you what I need, then let me know. Post a comment down below. I like I said, I demoed a couple other ones and I just wasn't really happy with any of them. So I ended up writing my own script in PowerShell, which I'm I'm still learning PowerShell. It's really powerful. I'm used to VB script, but as you might remember from a video that I did a couple days ago, VB script is being depreciated. So it's time to learn something else. Uh, and basically what it does is when I'm recording videos like I am right now, I just leave it running and it will constantly update and tell me it'll add up all the files in this folder, this specific folder, and it will tell me what the total duration of them all is. It refreshes every three seconds and it just, uh, you know, keeps a, a little counter there for me. I can just keep my eye on. And then when the videos add up to eight minutes or more, the color changes as a visual cue. And then when it gets over 10 minutes, it turns red. So I decided to keep all of my videos for tech help to 10 minutes or under for lots of different reasons, which I'm not going to go into now, but I, I, that's a good a good duration for my videos. So it wasn't a terribly complicated script to write. Uh, it's good practice for me. I tried to do it myself at first, and uh, I, I did I did run into some stumbling. Usually for me, it's not the programming concepts, because I got the concepts done. I've been doing this for years. It's the formatting of the, the syntax, learning a new language. Now, this is very similar to C, PowerShell is. And I used to be a C programmer way back in the 90s, so I, I get it. So I just had to learn some of the new, like, you know, the, the, the object-verb pairing that they have. But that's what I use ChatGPT for, is to, is to translate. You can write something in a language you're familiar with, like VBScript or VBA, and ask ChatGPT to convert it to you, convert it for you into something else like PowerShell or like JavaScript. And that's what it's really, really good for. And yes, I will put a copy of this script on my website if you want to download a copy of it. And I am planning on doing some PowerShell lessons. Give me a couple more months, though, to, to become an expert in it. I'm still intermediate myself. So I'll, I'll get there. Again, it's just a matter of translating the language. So that's it for today. I hope this helped you. Hope hope this helped someone. It's not just me complaining. But if you're wondering why a feature that you used to have and love in File Explorer is no longer there, I was I was flabbergasted when I saw it. I'm like, what? I got to select just a single file to get information now? And they changed some things like you can't edit the metadata and stuff like that. So that's what you got to do. That's how you can get back your 
classic file explorer by going in through the control panel. Once again, I'll show you. You open up your control panel, right? And you got to click this little down arrow right there and then go to home. And then the classic file explorer from Windows 10 opens up. And now you can browse to whatever other folder you want and you get back your old feature over here. See, there's my length. So that's how you do it. This is the only way that I've found to get back to this file explorer. It's a pain. All right, so that's gonna do it for today, folks. There is your tech help video. I hope you learned something. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. To learn more about Windows or any of the other topics I teach like Microsoft Access, Word, Excel, and more, visit my website at windowslearningzone.com.